Lady Charmaine, and my guests today are the stars of a brand new reality show entitled House of Joy, airing on Nouveau TV. She's an actress and a gospel recording artist working on her brand new project, and her husband is considered a music producer extraordinaire. And they're here today to talk about their new show, House of Joy. Help me welcome Joy and Rodney Jerkins to the show. How you doing? Great, thanks. Wonderful. How How you doing, Rodney? I'm great. <laughs> well, congratulations to the both of you on your new show. I love the title, House of Joy. It sounds all happy and joyful. Who came up with the title of the show? Um, so I asked for natural, natural fit. I mean, <laughs> joy is Joy's house. <laughs> okay, it was real simple. Because, Joy, you have a really bubbly personality. Oh, you know what? First off, I want to uh, commend you on that, Rodney. Please remind all the men whose house it is, the ladies. So thank you it's for that. Definitely, <laughs> it's definitely Joy's house. <laughs> because, I mean, it, it really does fit. And I think it fits with your personality because you had came on the line all wonderful and bubbly. How did the opportunity for your reality show even come about? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, we, Rodney and I, we've been married for about nine and a half years now, going on 10 years, and we were approached to have a reality show when we first got married, and we thought, well, it's not the time now, because Rodney's a PK kid, and, and a PK kid's always taught, and in a Christian home, you're always taught the first year of your marriage is the, the foundation point of your marriage, so mm-hmm. we uh, decided to decline the first time we got offered a reality show, like the newlyweds. And uh, we felt like nine and a half years into our marriage, three kids down. Uh, we felt like we've been through some stuff in our life, and now would be a good time. Now that we got approached to, to have a reality show, we felt like we had a good foundation. Uh, we just had a, a, just a strong, you know, Christian faith and, and walk with the Lord that we were, you know, ready to to show what it is to be a strong Christian family in the industry, in the music industry, work together, live together, pray together, fight together, work together, work it all out. And we felt like now was a good time. And I think the world kind of needs to see how, you know, you can be Christian and you can, you know, work things out. And um, that's what we felt like now is the time. I love how you put all that together, girl. You better preach. So I, I know this is absolutely <laughs> great. Show. No, that was great because especially being in this industry, and we all know, you know, being a Christian in this industry, some people feel that it cannot be done. And I'm so glad that you guys chose to show that it can be done, with, especially with a strong Christian faith and background. And I want you both to tell us a little bit about the show because, Joy, you have an extended family that's moved into the house. So how is that working? Um, you know, there's a, there's like, you know, you see a lot of reality shows now and you see, you know, there's, there's, there's Christian, Christian families on TV or pastors on TV, but I think what sets apart our, our show is that, you know, we, you know, we believe that God has entrusted us with, um, with a gift. Rodney has a great gift. I have a great gift. And I think, you know, God has said now, now is the time for us to really show the world how to be, um, a role model, and when I mean like a role model, it honestly, it, it we as a family, Rodney, myself, and our three children, we all live together, and then we do have extended family. Um, it's hard to be able to hold a family together when hard times come all by yourself. You know, obviously, we have God at the center of our relationship, and God's the center of our family. But my mom and dad, they play a role in our family too, because they're Christians. They've been married for over forty years, and they do live with us, and um. And at sometimes at the toughest times, late in the, you know, late in the midnight hour is when sometimes things arise in our home, in our family, and, and, and sometimes our parents, my parents are there to help, you know, bring things back together. You don't quite see that on our show, like late night when, when turmoil happens and we all come together and pray together. But what you're going to see on our show is during the day how we all kind of work together and, and we spend time together and we, we really we get along and we pray together when we eat and, and um, just help each other along the way and, and how, you know, people can, oh, my goodness, an extended family, Rodney, how do you do that with all those <laughs> extra people that they're not quite your blood, but they're your wife? And um, I mean, I could probably try talk a little more, but yeah, my sister's also lives with us and she's on the show and my brother too, my younger brother. 
So, right, I want to hear from you. What is it like having your extended family stay with you? I'm sure, you know, you know them and you love them. What is it like for you as a man? Because I know sometimes men love their man caves. Not sure if the studio is your man cave, but what is it like for you? I think I've always liked having big having big houses, and I think Joy likes to fill them up. <laughs> so I think that that's what really happened. She wanted more Joy in the house, so she decided I'm going to fill it up with some with family. I know I'm just playing, but we um it, it's been it's been a blessing, as she said. Uh, you know, I know when it, when there's moments when you know when things aren't always going the way you want them to go, and you need someone to talk to. I know there's been plenty of moments where, you know, her father has been, you know, a big a big role in my life, a big mm-hmm. blessing in my life. And um, it really helps out, you know, it allows us, you know, because we're so busy on the, on the music side as well, you know, that extra help at hand always helps out with getting things done around the house and the kids. And it's, 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 it's a blessing for the kids to be able to even have a relationship with their grandparents. Um, you know, my, I didn't get a chance to really spend too much time with my grandparents, so it's a blessing that, you know, they're spending so much time with their with their grandparents, and, you know, and so it's been a blessing. And, um, and now we're just, you know, we're trying to show the world that, you know, again, that, you know, f- family is important, and, and, and family values is important. And that's why we did this show. And I think it gets, um, sometimes, you know, people want to, a lot of families, they, they want to do it on their, on their, on their own, you know, just the immediate, and that's great. And then sometimes you don't have a choice like to do it on your own. I hear a lot of times friends of mine and just people that we pass by, they're like, wow, it's such a blessing that you have your sister to help you and your mom to help you mm-hmm. because not everybody has the access that I have. You know, my mom, you know, she pretty much, my mom and dad, they, 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 they run our house. They run our household and we have a couple of houses and they, if we need them to go here or go there, they they fly to wherever we need to go and they take care of stuff for us. And they're like, we're we're on we're on grandparent mode, and you guys have a busy schedule. And whatever you needed to do, if we need to take the kids swimming today because you need stuff to do. See, nobody goes. They our kids don't go un un un. What's the word? Uh, they don't go without attention ever because there's so many people to love them around around them that you know even if my son just fell for the first time yesterday on his face um Mm -hmm. you know off his car and he was crying he's five years old and he's never gotten hurt in his life because we always have somebody around him 24 7 like either my sister myself my mom my dad my brother and um if you have the ability to have a family member that wants to be you know more around your family i'm i'm big on encouraging that like because we don't believe in hiring outside of our family we want to hire within Mm -hmm. the family Mm -hmm. and that's what we encourage you know stick with your family they love you and grow to love each other more and more work together more and more that's our belief and I, I love it because it definitely works. I Trust me, I have a business and I know what it's like to have your family work with you <laughs> in a lot of things. So yeah. I totally agree with you, especially watching the children, because there's nobody more that you trust than your parents with your children. You know, you know, yeah. you can leave and you know that they're going to be safe. So I totally agree. Mm-hmm. And Joe, I want to talk to you about you are an, also an entrepreneur. You have a T-shirt line with Bible <laughs> verses. I love it. Yeah. What is your favorite Bible verse? Um, Probably I have so many verses, mm-hmm. but sometimes I think of, you know, the reason why I thought of always bringing it, always bringing joy. I've said that since I was probably... 16, 17 years old, I was signing that when I was younger, always bringing joy, because I felt like my name, my mom said I was supposed to be a boy when I was born, she believed like I was a boy, because back then they really didn't get, you know, they didn't check the whole, is it a boy, is it a girl, like we do now, mm-hmm. and she really believed I was a boy, that she had a boy name, and my name was Joshua, and but when she found out I was a girl, the, the day of, she like, she said God named me, you know, she didn't have a name, God gave her the name, the joy of the Lord is my strength, you know, joy unspeakable, full of glory, so when I think of verses, I always say, like, God gave me a name, and there's, everybody is named, and they have a reason, you know, God really, you know, has a big part in what we're named, why we're named, what what our name stands for, so I would say one of my favorite verses is the joy of the Lord is my strength, because no matter what I go through, I know that God gives me strength, and even when it feels like I can't just face another day and I can't there's no way I can face this God (laughs) but only with God I can handle all things and it's it's 
probably the joy of the Lord. And, and that's why I thought of a t-shirt line, like always bringing joy, always bringing love and the fruit of the spirit. You know, I think of the, the different spirit that, that all the spirit that God wants us to have. And I wanted to ask you not only about your business, most people don't even realize that you are also an actress and you were on seven heaven. When I found that out, I was like, that's right. She sure was. Time goes by so fast. Do you ever have a desire to get back into acting? Yes, I do, actually. You know, I was on 7th Heaven, um, for, for, I mean, not that long ago, but I guess it would kind of been, you know, a couple <laughs> of years ago. Yeah, I do, actually. I am um, I think I'm getting my feet wet by being um, on our, by, by doing this reality show and, and kind of being, um, you know, the, fam- the, the cameras following our family around and just being back on camera. And it's hard. You know, I've had three kids. It's hard to get back to the weight that you want to be at. Right. I, I, I was I was smaller before my first child, and I always you know I I could eat what I want, and then I and I worked out a little bit here and there, but definitely after my first, I packed on some pounds. My my second, I packed on some more, and my <laughs> third, and I'm just like it's hard, you know. It's like those last 10, 20, 30 pounds just to try to get off. So um, as soon as I feel a little more comfortable within my own skin, like it's it's been pushing me. Even doing the reality show with my family, and my family will tell me like, Joy, come on, you. You know, you you got to eat healthier. You got to get right. We all got to get right together. As I get more comfortable in my skin, I think, you know, then I feel like, you know, doors will open up and I'll start feeling comfortable to start reading for parts again. And I'm not saying that I have to be skinny or I have to be a certain size because I know that I don't. And I think Rodney doesn't mind. but <laughs> I'm sure he does it. <laughs> No answers. Um, no, but soon I will. Yeah, I'll be doing because I do crave it and I love it and I do love to act. So when some great parts come my way and I feel like, you know, I'm passionate about, I would definitely love to take those roles. I always say, you know, I'm trying to lose my baby weight, although my baby's 11 years old. But I always say, you know, <laughs> I'm still hey. holding on to baby weight. <laughs> we have to we have to stop. Stop eating all the leftovers and, and stop ordering for them because we know what we like. And then they're like, Mom, I don't like that. It's okay. I'll just eat it. <laughs> what do we tend to do? That's why my <laughs> That's okay. You want mac and cheese? No, I want mac and cheese. Look, t- tell me about it. Now, Rodney, I want to yeah. hear from you because you guys sound like you have a great relationship. How did you enjoy meat? We met actually in 1999. I was called by L.A. Reid. Um, who was running the face records and he and joy was signed to the face records and la called me and he told me he wanted me to work with joy and he sent her to jersey um, to work with me and she walked in my studio and <laughs> she had the sparkling eye and i looked at her and i told her i was gonna marry her one day she thought i was crazy she was like that's the first thing coming out your mouth i came here to get a song you know, <laughs> right uh, and um but you know, we 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 um, we worked together and took us to a couple family barbecues, you know, during that time as well, and uh, got to know her family. And we always stayed, you know, friends. You know, we didn't we didn't stay in contact a lot, but you know, we would try to at least say hello once in a while. You know, a year later, two years later, whatever it was, and then in 2003. It was actually September 13th, 2003. Wow. So maybe I still know the date. Yes, you do. Uh, you do. <laughs> I went to Michael Jackson's house for a birthday celebration, and Julie happened to be there singing um, at his house. And um, and I saw her again, and that same sparkle was there. And we began to talk, and she was kind of in the same place that I was at spiritually. And uh, we both, you know, just started talking, you know, we talked for hours and hours mm-hmm. and hours and hours, and a couple months later, I'm on, I'm talking to her dad, telling her dad I want to marry your daughter. Would it be okay if I asked her? And he gave me permission, and um, asked her to marry me. We were engaged in November and married in eight on April, in April of um, 2004. So. That's how it happened. What a beautiful story. See, Joe, you had it going on, girl, didn't you? You had the joy I mean, of the I, Lord. I, I, I mean, that's what I had. <laughs> well, that is a great story, yeah. though. And now, Rodney, you seem like you're a little more laid back uh, than Joy. She, she seemed like she's real bubbly, and you seem a little more <laughs> reserved. Is that true? Or that's just kind of like what I'm observing. No, no. I'm actually, I'm actually probably equal to her. Just Are that you? I'm, I'm a little bit, uh, I, I worked out this morning, so I'm a little sore. I'm a little, little, little out of it, but no, I'm, I'm, I get, 
she keeps me bubbly, you know. I got to I got to try to match her intensity. Uh, but you know, I do have the laid back side as well. But you know, we're off and on with that. So, like I said, I'm not going to assume that everybody know who Rodney is. Rodney Jerkins, as we call him, music producer extraordinaire. I'm sure he hears it all the time. But just hearing from the both of you, I know that God has truly blessed you with this gift, Rodney. For those who don't know, Rodney has worked with Brandy, Beyonce, Katy Perry, Mariah Carey, Mary J. Blige, Jennifer Lopez, Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, Justin Bieber, Whitney Houston, Lady Gaga, Britney Spears, and his wife, Joy. Just to name a few. We can't even go down on the whole list, Rodney, but I want to know how did your career begin and what was it about you that made so many artists want what you had? They said, I got to work with Rodney. Do you I know think, what that I was? That, you know what? I really believe that, you know, God gave, put a favor on my life um, from day one. I mean, when I was a young, when I was 11 years old, I had a dream that I would be uh, amongst different artists in the music industry. And mm -hmm. um, But it was like I was praying with these artists, not just working with them, but praying for them. Praise God. You know, and I believe that was a vision that God had showed me at a young age that, you know, I would be amongst those type of artists and I would be the person that, you know, not only just made music, but, you know, would, would talk to talk to artists that needed, you know, encouragement in their lives. And, uh, and that began to become true. We began to play out like that. You know, there's been plenty of moments where, you know, I remember being... 20 years old and praying with Mary J. Blige and, you know, 21 years old and praying, praying with Michael Jackson and me and my wife praying with Whitney Houston six months before she passed away. Wow. And, um, so God is always, he, he always keeps that door open. So I just think it's, it's fa his favor. I think that, um, I think God trust, trust me. He gave me the gift, but he trusts me with that part of that gift. And, um, and he knew I would be able to carry it out and handle that out. Um, so I've just been, you know, I've been handling it pretty well, and um, and I continue to do it still to this day. I'm still, you know, a guy amongst in the industry where I'll get a call from people saying, hey, can you come talk to this artist, pray with this artist? He needs you. She needs you in your life. Can you please pray for them? And, you know, um, that's been, that's really been it. I just think it's the favor. I really do. I mean, you know, I, musically, God has really blessed it and gift, He's gifted me with a, with um, an understanding of music, an understanding of different genres of music, and and how to hear it and how it should be heard um, around the world. So, um, and I don't take that for granted. But I think ultimately, what He was ultimately doing was He was putting me in a position to be able to, um, you know, to be able to to minister to people at the same time. I love your testimony because I never forget, you know, because I've been in the industry for quite some time. And, you know, a lot of times when people think of the music industry or just entertainment, period, sometimes people think, oh, it's of the devil and it's darkness. And I never forget one day I was in church and I heard the Lord say to me, who will go for us? Who would be able to go and then minister to those people that people think, you know, how it's funny how sometimes the church can say, well, they need to be saved. But who can God send to witness to yeah. them to save them? And then he you has know, to you know entrust you, know, you that. Go ahead. You know what? I, you know what I say about that, too? You know, and, and, you know, as as Christians, as church, we can't judge people. Mm -hmm. We don't ultimately know what what God has in store, what his plans are. You know, when when when, when I look at the rapper um, Mace, mm -hmm. who a lot of people know, and now he's a pastor over three churches. Mm -hmm. Mace got saved right at my studio by me mm -hmm. ministering to him. What a testimony. So if, if God used me to to talk to him and him get saved, and now he has three churches and other people get saved through his ministry, then that just proves that God knew what he was doing from the beginning. Oh, my goodness. You are just the bomb. I mean, I love your story. I love your testimony. And I think more people need to hear it. That's why I love my job. <laughs> <laughs> and especially if I get to talk to people about the Lord in the industry, because people don't know. Some people just assume, you know what I'm saying? Oh, because of what they do, they may not be saved, but you have no idea. And even every time I interview somebody on my show and we get to talking about Jesus and just having a hallelujah, good time. And it's such a blessing. And I had one artist come on and I didn't know she was saved at all. She just came on to talk about a reality show. And she was like, I couldn't wait to come on your show. And I said, why? She said, so I could talk about Jesus. I was like, oh, well, praise the Lord. 
<laughs> but, but 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 I absolutely love it. I want to thank you so much for sharing that. But you've worked with so many people, Rodney. Is there anybody else that you desire to work with that you have not worked with yet? You know, I, I get that question a lot. This this is I mean, there's always artists that come come along that you know that interest me. So you know, if I had if I if I had to say I was I'm pleased with what I've what I've what, what I've accomplished. In, in, in you know in music, then I would say yeah, I've, I've probably done everybody that I dreamed of. Mm. But then you know, but then an artist like uh, Adele will come along, and I'm mm-hmm. like, man, I wonder what it would be like if if she if she wrote to you know me playing the piano or something like that, or you know. So there's always some somebody new that comes along. You know, I would love to work. I would love to do a duet with Michael Bublé, Marvin mm. Wine. Wow, like, yes, yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> You know, so I, you know, you know, my dream was to work with Marvin Winans, and I just started working with him a couple weeks, a couple months ago. So, I mean, you know, you keep on dreaming, no matter what, you still keep on dreaming, even though you you may have um, wanted to 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 work with someone your whole life, and you got the chance to work with. You know, I thought of, if that was the case, my career would have been done at 21 years old when I when I worked with Michael Jackson and Whitney, but. There was more. It was right. more to do. There's more, you know, there's more dreams to be fulfilled. So I just keep dreaming and, and just keep working and hope that, you know, that uh, my gift get, get expands more. And I'm so glad you mentioned Marvin Winans because I remember when I interviewed him on my show. And I, I mean, I was like a little kid in a candy store because I, I said, you can sing the phone book. And I was telling my sister <laughs> yesterday when I was playing Marvin Winans on the show, I said, like, God, I just love him. And his voice, every time I play him on the show, just does something. Him, the Winans. I, <laughs> Go I, I, think, I think Marvin is by far, I, and you know, I, there's so many good, great artists in, in gospel in, in this period, but I think he's the best male vocalist. Mm-hmm. And one of the best, but best writers as well mm-hmm. that we've ever seen. <laughs> and, uh, and and here, I mean, I put I put joy I put joy and her family on to to the to the Winans and to Marvin. She know about Cece, but I put on to Marvin and and now her sister Tiffany, and that's all they play. <laughs> her and Tiffany, that's all he plays. Marvin, I hear them playing Marvin more than I play Marvin. But his voice is just. Tiffany plays Mar- What'd you say? My sister plays Marvin for other reasons. She got she got a Marvin crush. Oh, mm-hmm. tell her I went through that too. <laughs> I know how she feels. Been praying for y'all. Been praying for y'all. Before Joey, we're gonna talk about your project, but I want to find out how did you come up with the name Dark Child? <laughs> Dark Child. Dark Child. You know, on every oh, song Dark here, Child. Dark Child. And how did you come you up know, with that name? Uh, it came. You know, it was really just very organic. Me and um. Me and my father and 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 my attorney at the time and his assistant, we were all in my house and we were like, we got to come up with a company name. You know, I was young; I was only like eighteen years old. We were like, got to come up with a company name. And my attorney then asked me to describe the way he, my music sounded. And at the time, I was really into like minor chords and dark minor chords. And I said, I think it's my chords are dark. And he just started, he just wrote on the pad, dark minor, and then. um and then he said, well, do you consider yourself a man? And I said, I'm not a man yet. I'm, I'm a kid. <laughs> so he put dark kid together, this, and it sounded corny. Then he put dark boy together, and it sounded corny. And then he put dark child together, and I was like, that's it. And that's really how it came about. Kind of like Destiny's Child, how their mom came up with yeah, Destiny's it just, Child. It just, it just had a ring to it. Yeah, it just sounded cool. Okay. Now, Joy, you have a new pro- project you're working on that we're all going to see on the show. I want to know about the project, the name of it, and just the inspiration behind your new project. Um, right now, what you're going to see on the show is preparation. And because I've been in, I've, I've really been into mommy mode. I have three children under the age of five. Um, I really, I really wanted to wait until, you know, I was, I really felt God said, you're ready. You're ready to kind of, you know, to, to focus and, and give half of your time to, to music. And, and I didn't want to spread myself too thin where I, I have an eight, I have an eight month year old, you know, at home, you know, and a three year old and a five year old. So, I'm in preparation mode right now, getting back to working out, getting back to, you know, just singing and, and getting everything ready. And Rodney and I have been in the studio working and writing, and we brought writers in and um, just putting together everything 
we've been through as a married couple over the last nine years, moments we've been through with our children, our family, and life, with just situations. So we're in the mode, we're in the, we're in the place of just writing real, real life songs that people can relate to and um, they can, you know, rejoice with and then just they can connect with. So um, as far as music goes, I mean, I think Rodney has it hands down as far as music. I mean, we mm-hmm. can expect the greatest music out of him. And as far as, uh, you know, just lyrics and, and just the place where it's going to go, I think people can expect to be to, to be touched in a way where, you know, their life can change and it could turn around and, and hope can be restored. I think that's what we're going for. And whether it's in up-tempos or in ballads, we're going to have something for everybody. But lyrically, the content is going to be uplifting and letting that, you know, that they're going to make it. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's where we're at right now. So that's where I'm at in my life. You have a great single. It's so cute. I think it's one of your children on the song with Rodney. You go make it. <laughs> Let's talk about that song. <laughs> no, it's actually it's actually a song we did a while ago. You know, we 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 one thing that we, that we've come up with that I think is very unique is that we're, you're able to purchase a song, the song that she sings to one of our children on the song, on the show. You're able to purchase that that song after every episode. Mm-hmm. So right after the episode, you can purchase a song. And it's it's really it's really unique because other other shows like Glee and American Idol and X Factor, the voice that have done this, it's always been covers. There's mm-hmm. never been original music. So you kinda get, you know, original music every week after every show, which is very, very cool. Um, you know, Joy Joy's made it really clear to me. We had a conversation yesterday and she made it very clear that um she was like and you know, I know sometimes when you do certain songs you know, you'll do certain songs and the grooves be jamming, but I want people to be touched by the lyrics. Mm-hmm. I want people to feel the lyrics. So she's basically making me go back to the drawing board again and work on some more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this. Yeah. Okay. No. She, she's, she's challenging me again. So, um, but that's what that's what's great, you know, is that she wants... You know, her heart is in it. It's not about, you know, it's not about having a song on iTunes or having a song on the radio. It's really about her making music that she feels is going to touch people. And so we're, we're on, that, on that journey now. We're just trying to make music that, you know, people are going to be able to hear. And we had, we had a, uh, I just wanted to say this real quick. We had a, a Jewish attorney stop by the house yesterday. He's our neighbor. And we played him this this worship song that Joy just recorded, and he cried. Mm. You know, and, and, and so... I think he said he was. He said he was Judas and Buddhist. He Buddhist and Jewish. He Buddhist and Jewish, and he says, "But I'm open to be a Christian." So, you know, what happens is, I just really feel like our actions. And one thing he told me, and he was here. Here's a, a neighbor, you know, and it says in the Bible that love thy neighbor, and you know, and and he's a neighbor that literally knocked on our door. What didn't have an invitation, mm. but. This knocked on Rodney's studio and you know, door. And what's amazing about that, and I don't even think Joy remembers this, but me and I took my son. This was a couple months ago. I took my son, and I took him for a walk around our neighborhood, and, and I told him we had to pray over every house in our neighborhood. And we just pointed our hands in the directions of every house that we walked around, and we prayed for every neighbor. And, you know, you never and you never know what, how, you know, how God is going to use that. You know, and I just wanted to teach my son, teach that, teach my son that, and and as I walked, I still continue to do that, um, praying for our neighbors. But that's an example. Even yesterday, seeing a neighbor coming knocking on the door, right. and then hearing a song, and then and getting touched by it—that's just amazing. And, and sometimes oh, we're so great. we're so we're, you know, we're so busy to turn people away, or we're so busy we don't have time. But we have to remember what our purpose and our job here on earth is. Is to, at first, it is about people, and it's about souls, and it's about lost souls, it's about people that don't know God. And if God says in the Bible, it says, I stand at the door and knock, and any man should open the door, I will come in. So we should be the same to us, you know, to our neighbors. And he was touched by a Christian, by a Christian lyric, a song that had Christian lyrics talking about the Lord. And that's where we're at, music. And musically, we want to just reach people, the, the saved and the unsaved, the ones that just don't know what they want to do with their life tomorrow. And um, that's our purpose, even with the show. Oh, my God, I just love y'all. Gosh, (laughs) you guys are a great couple and it's a true example of what God can do. 
I mean, this is fantastic. And Rodney, I mean, I'm so proud of you just to teach your son to walk around the neighborhood and pray for the houses and then see what God did. The neighbor came to your house. Well, you know, you know I, owe, I, owe, I owe that to my to my pastor out here. He, um, you know, he he basically challenged the whole church. He said, "Listen, he, he actually created a day. He was like, on X, this date, you know, I'm challenging our churches to get involved in the community by starting your day off and walking around your neighborhood and praying um, for your neighbors." And um, and it just so happened that day, my, my son, you know, I, I was like. Hey, what better what better thing for me to take my son around and, and show him? And he was only, I think, four years old at the time, to show him this now and to see him close his eyes and point in the directions and pray blessings over our neighbors and, and peace and, and and prosperity over our neighbors. It was it, it was an amazing and and thing. And it's funny because now that I now remembering that I'm thinking about even other events that have happened since then. Favor the favor of events that has happened with a few of our neighbors. And, you know, and so it just it just proves that God, God word doesn't come back void, mm-hmm. you know. What he, what, he's true to his word, and there's a reason why he wants us to, to be the way we are and wants us to be the light, you know. You know, you can live you can live in a predominantly Jewish neighborhood. You can live in a predominantly Muslim neighborhood. If you're a Christian, your light should still shine, shine brighter than the darkness. Mm-hmm. And we have to keep that in mind. And I want to say that being married nine and a half years to Rodney, I, sometimes people ask me, what's the best thing Rodney's done for you? What's like the most romantic thing? What's the most memorable thing? And I would say this to all, all wives out there and husbands and ladies that, you know, they have a husband or a boyfriend and they think about getting married. So I would say the most, well, like the most sexiest thing for a wife you know, is when you see your husband take control of the house, mm-hmm. it's the, he's called the head of a household for a reason. And when I, I, I always tell my husband, I say, it's probably the most, the most sexiest thing, the most thing that I love about you most is when I see you spending time with the kids, reading books to them, reading the word to God, when he walks with my son in the morning, holding his hand and just praying with him. That is, that's like a message to wives. Like, wow, I put God first. I put my family second. And I just, and, and I put you there. I put my wife in that, that place with my children. And it just says priorities. Husbands, the most important thing is priorities. And that's what's sexy to wives. Nothing like a <laughs> husband that can put priorities first and God first. Mm-hmm. That's my one thing to husbands out there. So that's why I love Rodney so much. <laughs> this is just... This is the cutest interview I've ever done. I mean, I've done some good interviews, but this has just been the cutest, the sweetest, the <laughs> one that touched my heart. <laughs> um. No, it has been. Because when we lift up Jesus, then we have a couple that talks about the Lord. You got me all the way around. And um, before we go, I want to talk about your song called You Made My Day. I love this song. Let's talk about that real quick. Um, You know what? This song is a great Good, uh, still good record. Um, obviously, you know it's like sometimes we just we just need to let God know that it, it, it's because of Him that all things are possible. And in and this song, you know, obviously with Rodney, you know, here's Rodney has always he's just like the super duper amazing producer that you know and and great writer that. It's easy to do a record when you're saying, you know, you made my day. And we're talking about God. Mm-hmm. You made my day. And, and, and when, even when I wake up, no matter what I go through, you made my day. And God does. Just remember, if you're waking up in the morning, then God's making your day. He, he woke you up. And if he wakes you up every morning, he has a plan for you. And that is the purpose of, of his record. It's the purpose of just understanding when you wake up in the morning, it's because God's giving you another day to live, to breathe, to, to, to do his will. And um, I'm excited. And this is You Made My Day, and Rodney produced it, and, and uh, it's for everybody. <laughs> and Rodney, before I go, out of everybody you've worked with, now you're working with your wife. What is the difference with working with your wife and all the other artists? I know you say she's challenging you now to write a lyrically lyrics yeah, that mean something. More, she's definitely more challenging. Um, she's definitely, you know, we're married, so, you know, I can't. You know, <laughs> when I work with other artists, I can't argue. I can't. I can get into a dis. I can have a disagreement, but I can't argue with Joy. We can argue, 
And so sometimes we argue over things. It's, it's, it's funny to the point where, you know, I might leave the studio. I might say, you know what, I'm I'm taking a break. I'm, I'll be right back. And, or she'll leave. Because last week she left. She left me standing there, and I had to go up to the bedroom and say, baby, please come back and finish it. <laughs> you know, you can't do that with other artists. So we have, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a different dynamic um, working with Joy, but it's fun. I think that the greatest thing for me is, is that I love the process because, the process for us, it's always we always have those moments, and and it's almost it's kind of it's kind of like it in its way in its own way it's kind of romantic. And then when she comes back into the studio, or, or if I come back once the song is finished, and once we play the song back, we really like you, you see that wow, we had to go through this to get this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's this is the end result. And and so it's kind of our thing that we have, you know. Mm-hmm. I think it's, it's our thing and it's special. Yes. Don't you, Lonnie, don't you, don't you see working together, like, as, like, it's a challenge. It's no different than marriage. It's just, I think it's God's way of showing us that sometimes when our marriage gets difficult and gets hard or it sometimes still stagnate or you just feel like it's the same thing all the time or there's nothing new or we just, we just, we're not getting along or, but then there's a, there's a moment where you have a child and it's beautiful and then you have a downtime and then you have another child and it's beautiful. See, in life we go through ups and downs and I feel like God has given us music together and sometimes it's great and sometimes it's not and we work together and people always say, how do I work together? I mean, is that the hardest thing? And it is the hardest thing because sometimes it's just hard to make great music because it's hard to get to that place. But that's how marriage is. If you stick it out at the end, you'll stick it out and you'll have a great song. There's a, there's a beginning, there's a middle, there's an end, Mm -hmm. there's a bridge, but there's always an end. And at the end, we stick it out, we stick together and it's still going to be a great song in the end. I love it. If people want to follow you, are you on Twitter, Facebook? Give us uh, yours, Joy, and Rodney, give us yours for those I want to follow you and just see what you're up to. My Twitter is, and my, and I'm not on Facebook, but my Twitter and my um, Instagram is at Rodney Jerkins. So be sure to follow me. and You get all, you get all the exclusive content and things and you know you get a lot on my twitter you'll get a lot of scriptures and word I, you know i love to share the guys word on twitter so. and you joy uh, and, my, and i'm at joy enriquez um e-n-r-i-q-u-e-z it's my maiden latin last name <laughs> and then um the same thing i'm on uh, facebook joy enriquez and the same thing like rodney you'll get exclusive you know video footage of our children our family life music just a lot of fun stuff that's extra that comes along with following us. So That is so wonderful. I want to thank you both for coming on the show. And I want to remind everyone to tune in to the House of Joy Thursday nights, 10, 9 central, only on Nouveau TV. It was such a pleasure having you both on the show. I really do appreciate it. Great. Okay. Thank you. And if you miss us on Nouveau TV, you could always watch us on Hulu. They'll have all of our our shows and then the, the, the shows that you did miss, you'll be able to check, catch it on Hulu. Wonderful. Thank you for letting everybody know that. And ladies and gentlemen, here is one of Joy's new songs produced by Rodney Jerkins. It's entitled You Made My Day on Lady Charmaine Live.